You're such an asshole! Old sick Cappy here. If you girls want to, if you're a cute girl, you could send your all poor babies. <coughs> to asshole consult. Actually, you know what would be cool is, uh, like, if you have kids and they watch the old Cappy, if they could do a, a crayon drawing. Because I don't have kids, but my friends, their kids will make me crayon drawings. So those are pretty cool. I put them up on my fridge. <laughs> what I want to do down the road is once I get my recording studio officially set up, because it's functional now. It's witness the fully operational of this fully functional Death Star. It, so it is functional. It just doesn't look it. Um, but that'd be cool. Like I get some like pictures. I put them up on the backdrop. And little kids. Because you people, I, I know mothers are funny. They, uh, a couple of my female friends who are moms, their kids busted them, like throwing away all their crayon drawings. I'm like, dude, you save every one of those motherfucking drawings and then you, you put them in, uh, plastic, uh, wrap or whatever. And then you put them into a book binder. And then, because I guarantee you when you're older, you're going to regret throwing all those away. And you're going to wish when you're in a nursing home, you had that, it may be that thick, but it would be charming and cherishing to have all your kids' little crayons drawings. As crappy as they might be. Anyway, it won't make me feel any better. <coughs> hey, Clary. I'll keep you anonymous. My name is so-and-so. I'm a 20-year-old Polynesian living in Australia. I recently got a job as a, an adult plumbing, plumbing apprentice when I was 19 last year. So, like I said, like a stripper? Adult plumbing apprentice? Is, <laughs> kidding. Out of fear and desperation, I bullshitted my way through lies, deceiving the employees of that plumbing business that I was a university student who studied forensic science for a time period and dropped out of for fears of not getting into that industry. In reality, I was actually a dropout from school who finished school through another educational institution two years later than my age group. I had an interest in forensics, but knew through a consultant from school that I had contacts with the police and people in that industry. The chances of getting into certain areas of forensics was very low. Good, so you saved yourself a ton of time. I don't know why you'd lie about that. That doesn't help you or hurt you get into plumbing. Because that has nothing to do with plumbing. Um, but that's that's fine. After completing school, I tried to study at a school. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm trying to keep you anonymous as well. Becoming a nurse, but I didn't like it. I tried a plumbing course that had contacts with the pl plumbing business I'm employed with. My situation is regarding me even having a job in the future as a plumber. Or a job, I have a love-hate relationship with this job. I like this job, I love learning. I work hard as I can, but I fail <coughs> a lot as an apprentice. I have a bad memory and fail to do simple tasks due to this and due to being under pressure. I fail to listen at times to them when given an instruction and to be focused consistently when asked to do something at all times during the day, which has infuriated the tradesmen. All the tradesmen have had enough of this that the boss had to have a chat with me. Being a failure at this job has got me feeling down and contemplating suicide. All right, well, don't do that. This is not the end of the world. Uh, something you may not just be cut out for, and this is the process everybody has to go through in their late teens and early 20s. And if you're a spoiled American cunt from the suburbs until your mid-30s because you're worthless to figure out what you might want to do in life. I've gotten help taking better care of myself and am taking medication again, but in the end I have developed some strong hate for living, still contemplating the desire to quit as an apprentice and start something new. However, a part of me doesn't want to give up. Good! Because you're going to have to do something and plumbing is good. That's a good skill to have. Aside from me being a loser who's dug his own grave, what are your thoughts on me continuing this apprentice? Or is there any other advice from you or any contacts or friends in Australia that I can do to find another job or study in another industry for someone like me? of lesser intelligence to at least survive. All right, so I said, okay, well, what's your intelligence? You said, well, I, I scored average among my peer group. No, 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 no. What is your IQ? <coughs> you scored 105, which is slightly above average. So you're not dumb. You're not a genius either, but you're not dumb. And you're able to do plumbing or trade or something like that. What you may have is the lack of ability to pay attention. And I'm not saying ADD. We don't do that here at Asshole Consulting. We don't do the, oh my gosh, I got the uh, hud, the hud, the huds. We don't do that. Because that doesn't solve the problem. That just says, well, I have a problem. Oh my God. That doesn't solve your problem. It's not a solution. So here's what I'd recommend you do. And this is an old trick. Well, not a trick, but a mandatory thing we had work in security. You always carry a notepad with you. Not a digital one, a paper one. And you take detailed notes. When the tradesmen come in and say, do X, Y, and Z, write that down. 
do X, Y, and Z, all right? So that when you go and you work on whatever plumbing project, you have your list to make sure you did them all. Not only that, here's the other thing, and I wish I did this more when I was in banking. It gives you a record of what those people said. Because here's the other chance, here's the other thing. It may not be you. It may be that your employers are lying piece of shit assholes and they like to lord, lord that over you. Now, what has happened to me in the past, and this really pissed me off, is uh, sadistic, twisted motherfucking bosses would tell you one thing and then change their mind. And then they'd say that you screwed up. So you, And you think you're going crazy. All right? So what this will do is two things. One, if you have a problem of remembering things, which is, you know, that's not a moral issue. You just don't remember things. We'll take care of it and solve it and write it down. So that'll solve the problem of you forgetting things and then make you a better plumber or whatever it is, whatever job it is you go down in the past. So you always have that paper, pen. Is this what you wanted? Okay. And it show, it'll show on your part that you're trying to make an effort to <clears throat> be a better plumber. But it will also provide a record, you know, you write down what they say and you write down verbatim what they say and then they you say, okay, I did X, Y, and Z. They say, oh, you fucked it up. It's like, wait a minute, you just told me I have it written down here and that's another option. Now, if I were to weigh the statistical likelihood, it's a good 75% chance you're just not remembering this shit, all right? Uh, but there are assholes out there. There are genuine motherfucking piece of shit assholes out there who like to just fuck with people. And it's sick and wrong and they like to be like, you fucked up. You didn't that. So that might be an option too. So when you show like, okay, he says, put this coupling on this gauge of pipe. And you write down this coupling size, this gauge of pipe size, you with this type of epoxy. And you do all that. And then he comes in and says, oh, Jesus fucking Christ, I told you to put it with this, that, 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 and you got right there, then you know that this is a bad company that you shouldn't be working for. These are bad people, and you should try and go somewhere else. Okay, And then, like I said, there's only a 25% chance of that, I'd say, but these people do exist out there. Regardless, the larger point is focusing in on yourself, things that you could do to improve yourself. So that's what I would do, is just write, write this stuff down. Going forward... <clears throat> I mean, uh, look, I don't, I don't do the, the suicide thing here. I just don't. Um, we don't tolerate girls crying and whining. Oh, I'm going to commit suicide. We just don't do it. I don't deal with that here at Asshole Consulting. All right? Uh, you go forward. You keep trying. Uh, you, keep, you know, If you feel suicidal, go talk to a therapist. That's not our jurisdiction here. All right? But here at Asshole Consulting, we go forward. We look for solutions. All right? And uh, if you got mentally, fine, go talk to the therapist. That's what you got to do, all right? But it, just because you're, it, it, to put things into perspective, just because your job didn't work when you were 19, that's perfectly fine. You're not, you're, you're, you are, it would be rare if it did go the way you wanted it to. In other words, what I'm trying to tell you is that your problems are no different than anybody else's problems right now at the age of 19. And I know your friends and everybody likes to brag and your friends are probably borrowing money to Ford cars and, and those little puny trucks they have in Australia and they think they're big. That, that's all bullshit. The vast majority of people are just barely treading water like you are right now. So do not think this is the end of the world. Do not think, oh my God, it's over. Oh, I no, you just got to keep on trying. So I would, you know, try the plumbing thing. See if this notepad doesn't change or doesn't make it work. But maybe it could also be that plumbing just isn't for you and then you gotta go and, and, and try something else. What that is, you know, we can't tell you, but once again, it's the ballpark. It has to be STEM, the trades, which I think you're probably a bit more adapted to. Um, IT or accounting. Maybe the military even. Um, although I hear the Australian military is not as charitable as the US military. Uh, but as long as you're in that field, this is the time for you to go and explore and figure it out. And it sucks. It fucking sucks because you need money. I understand that. I needed money. I had to pay for food, clothing, shelter, all that other stuff. It sucks. But it's better to get your lumps in now and trial and error and figure out what you're good at and what you're not good at and figure out what your, really, your true calling is at the age of 22, which is three years from now, which may seem like forever, but it's better to do that <coughs> and to keep hammering away at shit that you're bound to fail at. Like, I, I, look, you could come out way better than me. I pissed it away 15 goddamn years in banking until someone, one of my bosses, just says, you're not cut out for banking. 
And he was right, because I'm not a lying sack of shit piece of scummy salesman who couldn't fucking hack it as an engineer and just want to make all the money and would lie to his own grandmother to get the commission on his sales and then collapse the entire U.S. and global economy with a housing crisis. You're right, I didn't have those 10 limp-dick, small penis qualities and characteristics bankers have. But I wish I was told that when I was 18 and not when I was 36. Anyway. So that's what I would do, trial and error, figure this shit out. Um, your goal is not to, well, you have to make some money, but your goal is not to make everyone happy in this particular. Your goal is to find out whether it's you or them, all right? Whether you do have a, a, a memory issue. So again, the notepad, write that down. That will tell you what's wrong. It's either your, and if, if things go well, then you know, hey, I just got bad memory and I got to write shit down. And don't worry, you're in no rush. You're in no rush. Like, okay, I got to write this down because they'd rather have you do it right the first time than wrong three times because it's going to take longer that way anyway. All right. Hope that helps out. If you guys got questions, go to assholeconsulting.com. <coughs> Actually, again, ladies, if you have all poor babies, hope you get better, you can go to assholeconsulting.com, send me your fan mail. And then, yeah, dude, that'd be cool. Kids drawing crayon pictures. I'll take that. We'll take those. We'll catch up with you guys later. Toodles.